I'm Mano. Welcome to my art channel, guys. Now, today, I have a few things that I want to talk to you about. Um, in about a month or so, I would love to do an auction on my YouTube channel. Uh, I have, I'm pretty close to my 5k subscribers, so I thought, well, why not? Uh, hopefully some of you are going to be there. It's probably, I'm going to talk to you about this uh, again and again, but it's the date that I have in mind is the 4th of March. Uh, so yes, uh, it will be a Saturday, Saturday night at 7. That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, but if you have any comments, please tell me if uh, the time is not right. Uh, you would prefer it maybe in the afternoon. I wouldn't mind. Really, I wouldn't mind. But tell me your preferences. If you want to be there, um, it's going to be one, one chance in a lifetime. It's my first auction, actually. It makes me very nervous, but uh, I think it's going to be fabulous. I think we're going to have a beautiful time. Uh, my daughter's going to be there with me to help me out. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be like a kind of cozy Saturday night, uh, you know, just yeah, fun, you know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but I wanted to make it fun and easygoing. I have a few pieces. You know, I do not work on small pieces a lot. So I have only a few small pieces. Um, most of them are bigger pieces. You have to think that um, the shipping is going to be at your cost, guys. Uh, but I think that this, the bidding price, the starting bidding price that I'm putting on those pieces, I mean, is really a good option for you to be there to this auction. Um, so I will talk to you about this further again in our future um, videos. So yes, now for today. <laughs> I don't want to talk too long. I think I know sometimes it gets boring and you just skip it through. So today I'm going to be working uh, with resin again uh, with my tea expert resin. I'm going to show you a little picture here and I want to play also with my eye candy pigments. I'm affiliated now with eye candy pigments and tea expert resin. So if you ever want to try those out, you just get to the link in my description box and you will save 10% on the resin and 10% also on the eye candy pigments. So guys, everything's going to be fine for you if you just so follow the instructions in the description box. I have a promo code. Pretty easy. So what am I going to be resining today? I want to do a beach scene in a, I don't know if this is pretty big or pretty close, in a tray, a wooden tray that I bought. And I think, you know, this is pretty dull. So if I make a beach scene, in the bottom of this tray. I think it's going to look great. So I'm going to go mix my resin and I'm going to show you all my colors I'm going to use today. So be there in a second guys. All right guys, so um, I'm going to show you uh, what I'm going to use and I'm going to make a close up on these products because I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use. So I have mixed a cup of resin here. Probably I'm going to need more, but this is it for now, okay? And I would like to put some real sand into uh, this uh, tray. And I want some turquoise and I want some blue. So probably I'm going to be working with my eye candy pigments and probably inks and maybe acrylic paints. Who knows? Uh, you know, I just want to try. It's an experiment day today. So <laughs> I've never done this before. I have did a beach, yes, but not whole the whole thing in resin. So here I'm going to pour 
some resin into this cup right here. I'm going to start by a little bit, well, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Let me get some baby wipes because this is very helpful when you work with resin. Okay, so here I have little baby wipes. So if I spill it a little, it's going to be okay. So now I'm going to pour some sand into my resin. Not too much, but a nice quantity, you know. I'll start with this. Nice and crunchy. Should I put a little bit more? Maybe, yeah. Just a little bit more. And you know what? I think I'm going to put a little bit of Decoart Spun Gold in this just to make it a little darker, maybe. So now let's pour my sand. Okay, I'll put these cups aside here. Do this with a makeup brush for especially made for resin. I want to start with a small layer. Obviously, I will need more of this. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So let me leave this in here. And uh, I think I will just pour a little bit more clear resin over here. Yeah. That's good. And I'm going to add some sand on top because obviously it's, this is not enough. Okay guys, so now I'm going to put my eye candy pigments. This is Kiji. Look at this, it's like turquoise green. I think this is going to look great in here. Okay, now in my other cup, I'm going to put some ruby. Look at this dark blue. Isn't that pretty? It shifts a little bit with a little purple-ish something in there. So this is ruby.
Okay guys, I will add some alcohol ink, just a few drops in there, just to make it a little bit more opaque. Okay, two more drops. Okay, obviously I will need more of this. So, let's start. Ooh, what a gorgeous color, guys. I'll do the same thing with this, with a few drops of tur turquoise in here. Alcohol ink, just to deepen it. <laughs> deepen it a little bit more oh my gosh this is absolutely gorgeous come as color oh my gosh Okay guys, I'm going to prepare another batch of resin because I need a little bit more and I need some white, of course, to make the waves with my heat gun. So I'll be back in just a minute. Not even, a second. <laughs> All right guys, I'm back with a little bit more resin and I'm going, this time, I'm going to do just a little bit of um, without alcohol ink I'm going to dye it a bit because I want it to look a bit like you know uh, tridimensional 3d you know and I'm gonna keep a little bit of this clear resin see I took the same cups that I had color in it so just, yeah, I think this is going to be perfect. See, no need to add some pigments. <laughs> I have exactly what I want. Oh, yes. So this I'm going to put along the, the shoreline. This, I'm going to put a little bit I did not need much more but just this little bit is going to help Now I'm taking my eye candy Satori White. This is like a, a cream that I'm going to put. Just watch this. This is going to be like magic. Just a little bit. Whoops, I have a thing on my popsicle stick here. Okay. Just, I'm going to start off with just a little dab of this. 
in here just to see. If I need more, I'm going to add more. Oh, this is plenty, guys. This is plenty. See, it doesn't take much. So this, this eye candy Satori White is going to last me forever. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is so much fun. Okay, so now I'm going to do some little waves here and there. I kind of want a lot of waves over here. Okay, start off with this. Now I'm going to put this attachment on my um, hit gun to concentrate. Guys, I am loving this. Wow, this is so cool. Love, 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 love.
right guys I am loving this let me bring you down for a close-up guys you are gonna flip your head off <laughs> I know, I, I, I say stupid things sometimes, but, uh, <laughs> well, not stupid, funny things. Um, I'm loving this, really, and I know you will, so let me bring you down, guys. Okay, guys, so I wanted to show you up close uh, the, the, the pigments that I used. So here I have I can do Ruri and eye candy kiji these are the two that i used and i added to that for a little bit of depth um phthalo blue and deep turquoise into my cups and then i added another coat on top of this but clear more clear you know not to not be so deep and this is the white that i used uh eye candy uh suntory white like I said, this is going to last forever, guys. I just dipped my popsicle stick in there, and there I had plenty to make those beautiful waves. <laughs> I'm going to show you from far first. Yeah, and as you can see, I added this little seashell in here because in decoration and in art, even numbers are not pleasant to the eyes. So by adding another seashell, now I have five, it's pleasing to the eyes. So watch your eyeballs, guys. This is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I love it. Look at that shimmer. The mix between the, the dark and the light over here, turquoise. And look at those waves. They're crazy. I'm loving it. I believe in them. I really believe in those waves. And you know, even if I see the bottom of my tray here, it's okay with me because you know the sun when it's wet, it's darker. So in the water, it is darker. So see, I don't mind. So there's my sand everywhere I am loving it guys so I'll show you once it's totally dried but first as usual let me flush you guys so this is the next day totally dried and dried beautifully so let me bring you in a little close up here you can see all the beautiful details of the waves very pretty look at that this is so beautiful guys So the only thing I did with the sand is I shook uh, the tray a little bit this morning and I just took off about, let's say, a teaspoon of uh, sand. So everything got stuck there. Beautiful. Look at that shimmer in there. That's beautiful. I love the colors. So guys. It's your turn now to tell me what you think. And uh, 
don't forget to tell me if you're interested by the auction that I will do in a, in a month or so. Well, not a so. It will be in a month. It's going to be the 4th of March. Uh, so, yeah. Leave me your comments in the comment box. And I read them all and I answer them all. So, until the next video, guys. Don't ever forget that I love you. And au revoir.